you know when people in different countries uh when someone is trying to campaign so that they can be elected to become the country's next leader they usually make claims like i will make our country very rich or that i will ensure that everyone in my country has lots of food and maybe lots of chocolates for children too but there is one country called kenya where the current president has set himself a very different goal he has said that he wants to plant 15 billion trees in the next 10 years How cool is that? Is that a very different claim you've heard? Have you ever heard any country's leader making a claim like that? Mm, no. Not yet at least. Not yet is a good point, yes. To get to this goal, you know, of 15 billion trees in the next 10 years. Guess what he did 2 weeks ago? He surprised the entire country by declaring one day off. All schools were to be closed. all offices most offices the essential services were working but everything else was supposed to be closed so that people could go out and plant trees it's very cool especially if you could get a day off from school <laughs> we read lots of different news stories so mm-hmm. on a scale of 1 to 10 how much do you like this news story i would say solid 9 or Solid nine. Okay, is that very close to India having reached the finals in the World Cup? We're recording this a couple yeah. of days after the India versus Australia final in the Cricket World Cup. But you know, when India reached the finals, we were all very happy. So compared to that, planting trees, you know, which compares higher to you? I would say the cricket news was more interesting. Rooting for my country. Okay, you were rooting for your country. So it's a nine and a half on ten. Since everybody was like very excited about the cricket news that India got into the finals, which including me, that story would go up ten out of ten. Yeah, that's a solid ten on ten. All right. So compared to that, we've got a nine on ten story for us to discuss. So hi, this is Sangeeta, the host of this podcast channel called What's New Today. I'm from India, and uh, joining me in this episode is a super curious young co-host. Hi, my name is Novis Akhetso, and I am from Nagaland. Nagaland, wonderful. Which school do you go to, and how old are you? I go to Kerry's uh, High Academy, and I am eleven years old. You know, I often think of people from Northeast India, uh, that includes Nagaland, as uh, people who are very active sports people. Do you also play football or any other such sports with a lot of interest? Yes, I love to play football. How many hours a day do you all play football? Usually about two or three hours a day. If I have any tests or if I have lots of homework, just an hour is for. Awesome! If there's a lot of homework, playing time goes down to one hour. Otherwise, it's two to three hours a day. That's lovely. But you know, when I also think of a place like Nagaland with a lot of lush green forests. It does sometimes remind me of whatever little we have seen on YouTube of African forests. Is is that something that resonates with you also? Some Naga forests look a lot like those African forests. So we don't really need to travel very far. I'm from southern India, so I, all I should do is to take my next flight to Kohima and see all those beautiful forests. I don't have to go as far as Africa, right? Jump into today's story. but just a quick primer on kenya for some of our listeners who may not know much about kenya so noviso which continent is kenya in kenya is in africa wonderful if i were to tell you that a lot of people in kenya speak english why do you think that might be true kenya was a colonized country a long time ago i think it was a british colony so uh, similar to india even though Uh, English is not its original language. The ma- majority of the population left no English. No English. Yeah, absolutely. Kenya was also colonized, and uh, they became independent in 1963, if I'm not mistaken. Here's my last question. Kenya has a world-famous wildlife sanctuary called the Masai Mara. It's also called the home of the big cats. So, if you had a chance to visit Masai Mara, 
which animals do you think you'll get to see there? Since it's called the home of big cats, I would ex- expect to see lions, maybe um, some leopards, cheetahs. I would also expect to see different herbivores like wildebeest, deers, and maybe I could see some water buffaloes. Yeah, absolutely. Coming back to our topic about planting trees and a national holiday in Kenya. So there are about 50 million people in Kenya and the goal was to plant 100 million trees. And the president said, okay, let's just get it all done in one day. And I'm declaring tomorrow a national holiday for everybody. And all the students and parents and teachers and a lot of government employees, they were all very excited. Because if you have to get 100 million trees planted and you are a country of 50 million people, all you've got to do is to plant two trees. And the Kenyan government also made all these uh, seedlings and saplings for many of these trees available for free in the various nurseries around the country. I watched a video where a Kenyan man and and a few other people were planting lots of trees. Did you also see that it was pouring in many parts of the country? So people didn't even mind the rains. They were all very excited to plant trees. Why is it that Kenya is doing this and you don't really see most of the other countries declaring national holidays to plant trees? Kenya is a, con- is a country that has been very severely affected by deforestation. Many of their forests have been cut down and about only about 7% of their land is covered in forest now. Kenya also uh, suffers from pollution and the trees would really help. Kenya also is uh, experiencing habitat loss. Lots of the animals are getting endangered due to habitat loss. Yeah, that's true. Especially that thing you said about habitat loss for a lot of creatures. So hopefully, you know, um, I know it takes a few years, if not a few decades, for several of these saplings to grow into giant trees. But hopefully, people and maybe lions and cheetahs will all find shelter under this. And also, there's one more reason where I think Kenya has been pressed towards taking this decision. They've had a very long spell of a drought, a really, really mm-hmm. long spell. Like, uh, I think a drought-like situation has existed there for a couple of decades almost. So now they have very little choice but to do whatever they can to ensure that they get enough rain. And if it does fall, that the ground is able to retain that water. In fact, Kenya used to have at one point some of these very rich forests called, I think, mountain forests is the word they use. So these giant trees, they're so good at retaining the water, you know, after it has rained. And whenever there is a dry spell, like a long drought, these trees are able to slowly release that water into the ground. So people can get groundwater even during an extended drought. So they want to bring back those kind of trees also. You know, every time I'm trying to look for a new topic that we want to talk about on What's New Today, of course, we do love topics like India reaching the finals or Virat Kohli breaking a record for the largest number of ODI centuries. But I love these kind of positive topics also where children get a national holiday to go plant trees. All right. So before we wrap up, I've got one riddle for Noviso. And this oh. riddle is based on an African proverb. You have to guess who am I? You know what I'm talking about. I have a house full of milk and crunchy food inside and the husk is all over my shell. I'm a fruit growing in tall trees in Africa and in Asia. Who am I? Oh, okay, I got it. I think it's a coconut. Correct, it is a coconut. Yes. Yes. (laughs) Uh, I've got one more. Do you want to try? Okay, okay. Okay, this is also based on an African proverb. I am a huge tree, but you will see my fruits only in the night. Who am I? Hmm. A huge tree. 
Now, okay, this I'll one. give you a hint. I'll give you a hint. So this is okay. not literally a tree. Okay, this is something that appears in nature. So when they're saying you'll see my fruits only in the night, they are referring to something that you can see if you look up in the night. Stars, maybe. Yes, yes, yes. So what can be the tree? The sky. Yeah. Oh. So several of these African proverbs are very poetic. When they describe the sky and the stars, they call it a tree with the fruits that can be seen in the night. Uh, so Novi, so before we wrap up every episode. We have two sections. One other section is okay. a quiz section. Okay. Yep. Yeah? Okay. I've got three questions based on what we've just discussed. All right. Question number one: Kenya was a colony earlier at some point in time. So, which country used to rule Kenya? Uh, the uh, British. The British. Yes. Correct. Question number two, Kenya's rulers recently declared a national holiday, a surprise national holiday. What was it for? It was for planting trees. Question number three, on the day that everybody had a national holiday and they were all going out to plant trees, how would you describe the weather on that day? It was very rainy. It was raining. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> Thank you so much, Noviza. Uh, it this was one of my very very happy topics that I got to chat about with you, and I'm very happy that I got to chat with someone uh, who lives in a place amidst tall trees and lush green forests, just the way I imagined Kenya to be. So I hope you enjoyed chatting about this. Yes, I enjoyed chatting with you very much. Thank you very much. I have a small request. Is there any other episode in What's New Today that you really enjoyed and you would like to recommend to our listeners? Uh, I I am not sure because I have lots of different episodes where I like. Okay, if there had to be top one or two, mm, I really loved the episode about the iron effect because it's very interesting about how. Big animals become small, and small animals become big when they move to an island. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very interesting idea, right? Okay, thank you so much, Noviso. Uh, for all our listeners who may not be aware, very recently we also produced a podcast series on wildlife conservation in India, where we've discussed stories about how India has managed to save its lions, its tigers. It's trying to bring back and save its cheetahs, and it's done a brilliant job in saving rhinos, which you can find a lot of in forests not very far from where Novizo lives. So, if you like wildlife, you can also listen to this nine-part episode series on wildlife. Um, I'm leaving a link to the island effect episode that Novizo likes in the show notes below. I'm also leaving a link to the entire wildlife podcast series in the show notes below. New episodes and what's new today come out every Monday and Friday. Thanks for listening. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye.